Nice to meet you. Hey, this I'm is Mike. Mike. Nice to meet you. Oh, all right, right all right. Anyway. Very cool. What do, what do they say? Welcome to my nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get scared. Oh, wow. Oh, you got a lot of dolls, huh? You said, dude, it's my passion. I told you it was Vibey, right? Yeah, it is Vibey. Right away, I walk into this place, and I got to admit, I'm, I'm back on my heels. There's a lot of dolls. There's a lot of figurines. The photos don't do it justice. OK, I know what you're thinking. This place is just nutso. There's dolls everywhere, right? They look neat. Some of them look like puppets. Yeah. Yes. But these dolls are historical pieces of art. Are these European made or? These were made by an artist called Bernard Rothka. OK. And Bernard Rothka. Uh, lived in France. I think he was a window display person in the beginning. And then he started making dolls and he found out that he could sell them. In 1939, because of the war, he came to the United States and he met his wife, Frances Deeks. She was a doll maker as well. And they joined forces and worked together. They started a cottage industry and made dolls. And he was quite a businessman. He made very small ones and they were probably $2.99. And then he made large ones that were probably $299. Wow. So this whole case is his work. This whole case is his work here. And he made dolls that were popular of the day, popular movie stars and politicians, literary characters. Oh, now, wow. now this this is is that Roosevelt? Mark Twain. When we were on the way over here, you were telling me it was Vibe, and now I'm like, <laughs> I, I didn't realize I like dolls so much. I mean, I'm looking at, I didn't. I mean, look it's at this. this. This is a piece of art. I love that reaction. Who's that? This is Harry Truman. Oh wow. They got excited because they saw the artistic thing that I see in them. Look at the little wire rim glasses. Somebody made them with their hand. They're not manufactured where they're cranked out. You know, hundreds of them. Oh, he's got Joe Lewis. Look at that. Look at this! Look at this! Whoa. So, like, what year is this from? When was he popular? Oh, you mean this was made when he was popular? Right. 50s? Yeah. This is pre-social media. We all want to connect with somebody who's in the public eye that we respect or we admire. This is a way to do that. This is actually made out of sweatshirt material. Look at that. And look at that. The Lewis across the front that's all sewn in there. And look at the detail the of his base. Uh, they're works of art. But they're also pop culture figures of that time. You know, the fact that he was doing public figures, different celebrities. I'm kind of blown away, to be honest with you, that I've never seen anything like this before. Like, what, like, what is the value of something like this? Like, around? Priceless. I, well, I, I, I know. Five. I get, Hundred. Uh, really? The one thing that I found out right away is that Joe is not interested on any level in selling his Ravka collection. He wants every piece, and he wants more. Let's go check out the basement. All right. <laughs> Watch your head over here. And I'd like to take you into my vinyl room. Vinyl room. This is Vibey. You have so much Aretha. Well, I try to get all the girl singers in every single thing that they ever did. Look at this one song, High Gear Daddy. Yeah, I could stay down here all day. Are you wanting to sell any of your collection? Or no, you the only to hold things on I it? sell is when I get a duplicate. You know, when I was younger, I'd buy all these girl singers just for the covers. How about that one? Mm hmm. What's yeah. the first song on there? You ought to see her box. <laughs> <laughs> what about my end Wow, look at that. Whoa, my gosh. You got the kitty. Oh, you got kitty. Oh, here you go. Oh, you got cats. Oh, so you only have these. You only have the ornamental part. You don't have the arm for the back. Yeah. These are cool. Owls. Oh, you got owls, too. Cats and owls, OK? Yes, the dogs are the best. I've found the owls. I've found the cats. But I've never seen dogs. Oh, these dogs are nuts. They're fabulous. Look at those dogs. Fabulous, huh? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Look at that dog, man. Fabulous. Oh, look Deco at doggy. Oh, Deco doggies. The cat, the dog, the owl, the marble eyes. You know, I've got a set of these in a fireplace, the cats, and when there's a rage and fire behind it, all you can see is the silhouette, the black silhouette of the cat, and then the, the flames through the, through the glass eyes, man. It's, it, it's, it's, it's mesmerizing. I'm there, you know what I mean? What are you thinking on all of them? The dogs are the best. The dogs are great. They're just, they're just missing the part that goes into the fireplace that holds the logs. Yeah. The fact that they're missing arms in the back does hurt the value considerably because that has to be made. It has to be made out of the right material, which would be iron. You know, that's not cheap. How about 600 for everything? I'll do seven. 
700. Thank you, pal. This is a collection. This is a lifelong collection. And the fact that you can come in and just buy it all is incredible. I got to get my husband. He's in here working. See, right here, hold that for a second. Let me see something. Let me see, is this the diameter of that? Is that what's going on here? Oh, yeah, that's what's going on. I love the fact that Mike and Danny are excited about these things. And yet this. Yeah, I got a pair of those. And they're all pretty spectacular. Yeah, these must have all came out of the same house or the same building. I'm excited when I can pass something on to somebody that I know they love it. So look at that. It's almost like a tambourine, gypsy it tambourine. Is. It's so deco oh to me. Oh my god, I know, I love it. And that's part of this whole thing. You love this, it should go home with you. Okay, so that needs a piece of slag glass. Right. Okay, and then you've got all of this. What are you thinking on this stuff and that? 500. All right, I'll give you 550. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. I love the fact that I would say one price and they would give me more for something, but they more have a finger on the market and what things are worth. What is the story with these bookends? They're nasty. They are hilarious. Many people like naughty things. You're not supposed to look at that. She's on the phone and he's fo peeking through the keyhole at her. <laughs> nasty. <laughs> You know, he's peeping through a peephole while she's bent over on the telephone, you know, and so they're, they're, they're naughty. Do you know when they're from? Like, they... Uh, I mean, when I look at her in that lingerie, that panties and girdles should tell you something yeah. about the vintage of it, right? The base looks really old. I mean... They you... look pre-50s to me. They do from the bottom, but they look like they're in great condition. You can see every little detail still, so either they were really well taken care of, or they're not as old as I hope they are. No. I would sell these to you. Stop, you're gonna sell them. $65? $65. Well. These pieces really speak to almost everybody. I mean, everybody has a naughty side. Don't get scared, there's not a lot of room up here, but there's a lot for sale. Oh we don't scare easy, so. Okay. Oh. Whoa! Okay, we're going That's up, incredible. be careful, okay. be careful, be careful. Up, 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 up. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Oh, hey, how about this mirror this. piece with the horns on it? I Hold want those. I, I would like those gone. You would look like it. those gone? Yes. How do you get back there to look at them? Oh, well, we got to we gotta work our way back. Be careful. There might be holes in the floor. All right. Let me this see if I can. This is a wind song chair. That's incredible. Yes. Here, I'm going to pull these out. Look at that, yeah. Joe. Horn furniture originated in Europe in the mid 1700s, and it was stuff that you'd see in like castles. When a lot of those craftsmen relocated to the United States, they started making this stuff here. San Antonio, Chicago, St. Louis, and a lot of these manufacturing facilities were right next to stockyards. So they had access to all of these horns. And then you've got That's two neat. chairs. Yes, they need work and they're- They need a lot of work. So the chairs and the, uh, the piece behind you, the mirror. Right, right, they all go together. Hunting lodge, cabin decor, the great outdoors, western, cowboy. It's definitely a look and it's a thing right now. What are you thinking? What am I thinking? Yeah. I don't, I have no idea what they'd be worth, so. I would um, like to give you a good price so you could sell them. Well, the chairs are interesting because they're so low to the ground. They are. I think it's cool. I've always liked it, and I've never found many pieces of it. A lot of it's in really bad shape. That's probably why it's up here. I mean, it's being held with metal straps, and there's big sheetrock screws put into it. There's no way you could sit on any of this stuff. I mean, it would just completely collapse, but it's moved from utilitarian to purely decorative. For this piece... Yes. And the chairs, 900. Oh, please, yes, thank you. <laughs> you wanna do that? <laughs> okay. Thank you, bless you. <laughs> All right. Bless you, I might even throw this in too. Okay, you throwing that in too, absolutely. these? Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> uh, let me see this, okay. Wow! I'm a talented man. Those were things that I did in that period of my life 
in the 70s when I just came out and I was exposed to all the different people, drag queens to the strippers, and so I would record that. These are two drag queens in a bar in Toledo. This one is Fran Schaefer, who changed his name to Nina Montgomery. Nina means little girl. He had the biggest feet and the biggest hands, and he was taller than me, had a big, deep voice, and he went by Nina. Nina Montgomery. Nina Montgomery. Right. So this drag queen, Nina Montgomery, and this one? That was a friend, co-worker. I don't know that one. Amazing. Burlesque and drag history have always been intertwined, and this is a really wonderful representation of that lifestyle from someone who lived it firsthand in the 1970s. I'm in love with this. I think this is incredible. I was shocked that she would that she would get excited and want them. Since you're so beautiful, you're going to have this for 65 bucks. Stop it right now. Right now. I will take this for 65. Nina Montgomery. Shh. I mean, I, you couldn't stop me from buying the thing. Most of the things up here in the attic are my, were, were my partner, Dean Lattice, interior designer. Now this makes sense, because the majority of this stuff in this attic doesn't match what's downstairs. Dean passed away in 2009, and I inherited his collections. Difficult to part with them, but I can't keep everything. So he was a big collector, too. Oh, he was a huge collector and, and extremely talented. He was a very handsome man, extremely intelligent. He went to the Rhode Island School of Design and had a degree in architecture. What a great crossover, because you're collecting and then you're doing interior design. Well, so you're, we, you're feeding both your passions, you know? We had a great time. We'd wake up at 4, leave at 5, get there at 6, all day long, load up the van, come home and throw it in the heap, you yeah. know? And, and then he was using a, a lot of the pieces for his yes. work. I have photographs of homes for people that he did, and it's just fabulous stuff because he was just so gifted. He was particularly fond of arts and crafts and art deco. He would buy all these things, and I would wonder, what the heck did he buy that for? And then after seeing it for a while, I could understand. And he would take it and turn it into something. He was called himself a man of parts. Oh my gosh, I'm looking around in here. And I'm not kidding you. I thought that this is this is an interior designer it's eye. Got a very this good is an eye. interior designer exactly. eye. Everything pulls together. Now I know, you know, we all know. Mike loves his motorcycles. Anything that leaves an oil stain is like that's home for him. But I remember him coming into my house one day and saying, "This looks like TGI Fridays. You need to move this here and move that there and move the whole thing around." And it looked gorgeous by the time he left. You're creating a lifestyle for somebody right. mm -hmm. right. when you set up their home. That's their life. That's their lifestyle. I mean, this is a simpler lamp. Right. But I'm a sucker for this stuff. Arts and crafts slag. Arts and crafts slag. Look at that. This lamp is a very simple, traditional, craftsman-style lamp. But the, the, the gold, the, the yellow gold slag glass in it, it's pretty bad to the bone. What are you thinking, Joe? 250. Give me a little more room, two and a quarter. OK, two and a quarter. All right. This is incredible stuff. I'm just so excited. Like, I'm, I'm a lighting guy. Okay. Open that box and see what's in it. OK. And I've always been a lighting guy, but now the lighting guy is really coming out in me. All right, I'm opening the box. Mike's like an eight-year-old boy. And there's another lampshade in it. As soon as he sees something he loves, his life is only that thing. Oh, oh my gosh. That's it. He's obsessed with it. He wants to eat it. He wants to drink it. Is this the shade to that base down there? Look at that. Oh, it's like a blood red. Oh my gosh. There's a base back there. It's so cool. Have you ever tried to stop a curious eight-year-old boy from rifling through somebody's attic? So look, so this is what I'm talking about, that shade. Where's that shade at? Right here. OK, so here, if you can hold that up and see if this is the the right width. Here, I'll, I'll hold this like so. I'll do this. Wait, are you doing like that? Wait, OK, wait, there's one leg, but we got it. OK, wait. We're just connecting these things so gently together because there's a big piece of glass that's chipped and cracked and it doesn't want to fall out. That's it. It's got to be it. Is that, is that all the way up? This is like the lunar module docking with the command module. Yeah, that's it. This is it. Again, it's just like, whoa, wow. I love this stuff because to me, it's timeless. Of course. And it's overbuilt. And it's just so beautiful. And it's sturdy. Yes, and it's sturdy. Well, we, yeah, it's sturdy it was. But no, I mean, this can all be fixed. I love yeah. it. This is a masculine lamp. You know what I'm saying? This is a craftsman, bold, masculine lamp. I mean, this is the kind of lamp you see Kevin Costner sit next to you on a table in his lodge on Yellowstone. That kind of lamp. This red is insane. Look at that red. Look at that. 
The glass in this lampshade is so amazing. It's like this blood red, orangey slag glass. Look at that red. It's so cool, and there's just so much going on here, man. I'd pay, um, hmm. In the shape it's in, I'd pay 300. Sold. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> Sold. I love it, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it, thank you. When you look at this stuff, is this Dean? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it's Dean. Yeah. It's my 40 years with him. Dean and I had a great life together. He taught me a lot. I learned so much from him. So I'm kind of meeting him. Yes, you are. meeting you. Yes, you are. Seeing Mike get so excited about the things that Dean collected was, was really good for me. And it was just bringing back all these memories of the fun times we had. Cool, too. This is what cool. Is this? Dancing naked ladies and the dragons below. What? Somebody, somebody carved all that. This is amazing. I'm glad you Dancing like Dancing naked ladies with dragons underneath. It even goes into maybe a little bit of the Adam and Eve. Adam is hanging from a tree with a snake coming down, and Eve is holding on to him, and there is a serpent or a dragon coming up from behind her. What I really love about it is it incorporates a couple of my favorite types of art. I love woodworking. I'm a burlesque dancer. It incorporates all of these nudes. I come from people that really talked a lot about Adam and Eve and that story. Temptation, desire. I mean, could there be a more perfect plant stand for me? <laughs> it has a couple little nicks here and there. Yes, uh -huh. that's what happens. But I think it's at the joints. When we get to be that age, we're going to have a little damage, too. I got some damage in my <laughs> joints. <laughs> I love it. I'm really enjoying it. It's a little naughty. Could you give me $95 for it? I could be in a 95 for sure. Thank I, you. I just, it's so unique. Thank wow. you. There's more. After you. All right. Yeah. Couldn't cram anything, so I'm crawling back in there in this little vein. And once I get in there, I'm not backing out. Here you go, Joe. Take this. So I'm just kind of passing things out, and I'm staying in this space because it's amazing. Eric, I found more horns. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And then here's Mike, that's that, so cool. Is that a foot store? Oh, my horns, I've been looking for the horns. <laughs> you horny thing, you. When Mike handed me the footrest with the horns attached, game over. This footrest is so beautiful. I love the tapestry on it. What about these two pieces? They're, they'd be great, real good together. They do. They'd be great in the shop. They would, wouldn't they? Yeah, I think they would sell well. That's just gonna walk out of the building by itself. How about 150? I was thinking closer to 100. How about 110? I think we can do 110. Yeah, we can work that out. It's like an accessory from Beetlejuice. It's colorful, different, it's weird, it's masculine, still feminine. I, I don't know, there's something about it I love. Oh wow, look at this. I'm gonna just scoot out. Okay. I've got this piece here. Okay. It's a table. Okay. It's a very elaborate, like, there's cast iron to it. Yeah. And then where's that other light that I handed you? Right here? Yeah, that one. That's heavy. This is really incredible to pick an interior designer's attic. There's a lot of stuff from this time period in the back there. Right. This is a desk lamp. It's craftsman period. And, you know, after all of these years, the shade is still there. The magnifying lens underneath it is still intact. This is eyes and glass. You can see that Mica, right there. Mica. Yeah, I'm saying Isinglass, he's saying Micah. They're almost the same thing. You know, they would have used this actually in um, wood burning stoves mm -hmm. for the illumination. And it's a heavy base. And if you can look at how it would be magnified as well, you can see there's a chip here. Um, Four hundred. Four twenty-five. I'll do four twenty-five. Let's do that. Okay. Lighting was definitely his partner's specialty. Okay, so this piece I dug out of there, mm -hmm. you know, it's just a wall sconce. Right. Nice arch, and okay. it pivots as well. There's floor lamps, there's desk lamps, there's table lamps, isinglass, mica, whatever you want to call it. 40 bucks. Okay. I mean, some of it needs some repair, but big deal. You know what I mean? This is another floor lamp piece. Looks like it has the original shade. Yes. You know, these floor lamps that I'm finding, 150. How about 160? 160. They're just so unique and so different. All right, here we go. 
Look at this one. He was into lighting. He he just he just loved it. Trying to protect that shade. And so he would go and find these wonderful things. Like if he would see it and he hadn't seen it before and he thought it was fabulous and if he could afford it, he would buy it. Whoa. Okay, this is some coolness here. Yes, Very yes. medieval Bavarian castle. What I love about all of this stuff is the simplicity of it. The simplicity of it and its strength. It's timeless. Two and a quarter. Yeah, 250 is better. How about 230? 235, if you're gonna be hard on me like that. <laughs> you're gonna give me a hard time on it. I mean, it's a fabulous thing. I know, it is a fabulous it's, thing. It's, so much of it isn't light that's to light a room. It's just mood lighting. Look at that base. Yeah, it's so cool, isn't it's it? A neat, neat base, really cool base. Kind of blacksmith craftsman, John Henry look to it. You know, the colors and the way it illuminates. It's just, you know, it's just, it sets a mood, man. It's, a, it's, it's great aesthetic. 200. Okay. I love this, and I love the fact that I'm finding so much of it. It is like a full-on lighting honey hole. I think is the top piece to that base. So if we put Whoa. this... I'm being challenged here to find each one of these pieces, like the, like the table base. I found the table base, and then later on, I find the top to it. Yeah, that's Whoa, it. look at that. She's together again. Look at that. Very good. I love that. Very good. So anyway, I love this. Okay. The base is very ornate, and the top is wood. The top articulates, and it's adjustable, and it's just so cool. Okay. It's got this, like, beveled edge on it. Okay. All right. 200. 200? Yeah, what are you thinking? 250. I can do two and a quarter. Two and a quarter is good. All right, let's do that. All right, thank you. These were maybe some of his best pieces that he was holding back for clients, or maybe just collection, I don't know, but the, the man had, look, I mean, seriously, an incredible eye. All right, let's go find Danielle before she gets in trouble or something. Okay, and there are things here that you've got to get out yet, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll just move this downstairs. This, well, d hey, let me ask you this. Can I look around up here still while you guys are down there? Of course. Because I still want to dig around back there and maybe try to get those horn chairs out, too. I would love that. The things that we're finding here are things that, that I haven't seen in a very long time. So many different looks and so many different time periods in one attic is unbelievable. Joe. Yes. What is this loveliness? Look this at these. This is an artist called Dorothy Kendall. Dorothy Kendall was an African-American artist in the 50s. And these are mugs, and she's in various states of undress. Here she is in her gown to finally get her nude. Wow, look how beautiful. My mother bought this on her honeymoon, <gasps> and so I have to keep these. Okay. Oh, neat. I don't have a lot of her things. I have a handful of them, but they are really wonderful pieces because they're glorifying the African-American woman in a very glamorous way, which was something that was there was not a lot of that being done in the 50s. That is amazing. Look at the beautiful flowers in her hair mm -hmm. right here. Here's you another, here, here's my favorite one. My favorite one. What? Stop right now. Look how perky her little nipples are doing that. <laughs> Danielle and I have very similar interest in the type of things that we both like. And none of these are for sale? No, this is part of my collection. I'm so sorry. I don't blame you. You know, but a girl's got to check. It was hard for her to buy for me because everything that she would flip over is something that was dear to me. Is that called a crazy quilt? Yeah, this would be a crazy quilt. That, that is beautiful, beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful, yes. I think that should belong to a beautiful person. <gasps> really? This is something you'd sell then? Look at that. Look, you got the little lamps on the other side, red, white, and blue. Isn't that cool? I'm going to say 100 bucks. And I'm going to say OK. That works for you? That works for me. Beautiful. All the textiles that, that Danny was finding, they were Dean's. They were, they were from his office. That's a little rag rug that somebody put together. What's this? That's a little yo-yo quilt. This is more for a child, I would say. Love it. I was thinking about the same, about 100 on this one. Okay, that would be great. That works? I would be happy with Lovely. that. Lovely, look at us. We're making it work, we're figuring it out. Look at that. I'm gonna go home with some things. There's more. Danny D, come look at this table. Oh. You know what table this is? I do. What? You kind of have an idea what it is. Can I, I put know it on what here? Table or no? that is. Can I, put it, can I put it on here? Yes, you may. All right. You're finding my good stuff. I can't oh, stand it. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. 
Whoa. Someone took this top and made this folk art nude out of it. Inlaid it. Yeah, Look at that. It. Look With at that. velvet. It's a nude woman laying in a bed of ivy over the top of red velvet. It's folky, and it almost kind of, I mean, just a little bit has some Art Nouveau going on. Beautiful. Would you sell it? I would have to have a very outrageous offer to let it go because oh, I man. do love this. The artist that made this piece went to a tremendous amount of work because there's so many details to it. They had to carve each leaf, they had to lay that velvet into it, and then they had to cut the top of the table in a way that didn't destroy it. Let Six. me examine the situation more. She looks scared, or she looks surprised. She might want something. She's she got not. the wilting flower <laughs> look on her face. This is another example of what a widely creative eye that Dean had. I'm blown away by it. I've never seen anything like it. It's definitely one of a kind. What's an outrageous number on it? Five hundred dollars. Five hundred. I was thinking six. Let's split it. Five fifty. I'll have to take a picture of it. Okay. Let's frame it. You want to do it? Okay. Oh, it's going to make a grown man cry. Oh. <laughs> what a find. I told you, whenever he's bird dogging on something, I, I don't know how he does it. He has a sensor inside that just hones right into the, the coolest stuff in the room immediately. All right, you guys loading or what? That was a roller coaster ride. You know, that was, that was tough, you know, because. It's kind of hard to say goodbye to his things, but I'm still collecting and still passionately buying things. This is the last of these guys. Okay. Yeah. A few of the items. I was a little nervous about letting them go. I love this. Yeah. I'm glad I found both pieces. But they were here helping me to, to clear out. So if they were real excited about it, I, I felt like, thank you. And I always have Dean with me. Thanks for sharing your Dean's story. It was, it was fun. Thank you. It was awesome. Please Had come a great back. Time. Coming in and meeting Joe, but also getting to know Dean through what he collected, I feel closer to him too. Oh, okay. one more, one more. Oh, yeah. Thank you. So it was nice. It was kind of like I got to meet the two of them. That felt really sweet. What a life. To share this kind of passion with your partner through collecting. See you down the road, buddy. Okay, Bye. thank you guys. All of these things that you've surrounded yourself with in your house, it was so cool. Really, honestly, I.
and owls, okay? Yes, the dogs are the best. I've found the owls, I've found the cats, but I've never seen dogs. Oh, these dogs are nuts. They're fabulous. Look at those dogs. Fabulous, huh? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Look at that dog, man. Fabulous. Oh, look Deco at doggy. Oh, Deco doggies. The cat, the dog, the owl, the marble eyes. You know, I've got a set of these in a fireplace, the cats, and when there's a rage and fire behind it, all you can see is the silhouette, the black silhouette of the cat, and then the, the flames through the, through the glass eyes, man. It's, it, it's, it's, it's mesmerizing. I'm there, you know what I mean? What are you thinking on all of them? The dogs are the best. The dogs are great. They're just, they're just missing the part that goes into the fireplace that holds the logs. Yeah. The fact that they're missing arms in the back does hurt the value considerably because that has to be made. It has to be made out of the right material, which would be iron. You know, that's not cheap. How about 600 for everything? I'll do seven. 700. Thank you, pal. This is a collection. This is a lifelong collection. And the fact that you can come in and just buy it all is incredible. I got to get my husband. He's in here working. See, here, hold that for a second. Let me see something. Let me see. Is this the diamond or is that? Is that what's going on here? Oh, yeah, that's what's going on. I love the fact that Mike and Danny are excited about these things. And yet, this. Yeah, I got a pair of those, and they're all pretty spectacular. Yeah, these must have all came out of the same house or the same building. I'm excited when I can pass something on to somebody that I know they love it. So look at that. It's almost like a tambourine, gypsy I know it tambourine. Is. It's so deco oh to me. Oh my god, I know. I love it.